Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope it's great as always. And without any further ado, let's just go and dig into the topic that we have prepared for today, which is intensity versus time. And just to give you more, or just to give you the first two cents about this topic that I'm going to be speaking about today, is that there's, I just feel like there's this notion today in the world that make people feel that patience is the only thing that really matters and that's the only thing that's really required to achieve their goals that you have just all of these people just saying okay i'm just working out i'm for example did five workouts this week and like i uh, they just kind of like think that okay this is gonna be great and this if i'm gonna be doing this for the next two years or three years i'm gonna get into a good shape but Yeah, from a certain standpoint, it's a great mindset, like consistency is very important and just like uh, kind of taking time into consideration that achievement of your goals will require a certain time uh, for the fruition of all of the, like just until all of the efforts you're putting in every single day bear any fruit, that at the same time, it's just like there are so many other things that come into the equation of you actually achieving that goal. And sometimes STEM is not the single factor that really matters that much. And for that reason, I even prepared a few factors that I really observed, you know, even on myself and on other people in the past seven to eight years that I really think that are just kind of like the the main driving factors. Uh, For example, why certain people are able to achieve results and the other ones are not able to achieve such great results, even if both of them are essentially doing the same activities. Great example of this, for example, there has been this one bodybuilder who has started working out, I guess, in the age age of like 70, at the age of 17 or 16. And at the age of, I guess like he was working out for three years only and he was so freaking big, natural compared to me, which I was working out like seven years already back then. And I still didn't really had that that big of a size uh, in terms of uh, how much muscularity I had and how much muscle mass I had. And the main first question I would like to analyze that very closely ties into this specific example is actually the, the case study with like, or maybe just rethinking the question or, or just like asking yourself the question of how strong your focus is. And what are we specifically optimizing for? And the, the main factor here is that just really answering the question whether, you, like, like, is all of your focus just pointed at a single point and, and just are you going in a single direction? Is everything in your life super optimized for you to achieve one thing? Or rather than that, are you just split to multiple different directions and pursuing multiple, um, multiple, multiple goals at the same time? And these goals can either be be perceived supplement, uh, uh, th- like complementary. That, for example, if you achieve one goal, it can help you with the second goal, or the, the other type of the goal that that could essentially happen is, is like substitutional, which means that if you go and pursue one goal, uh, you're gonna be going away from from the other type of, type of the goal. Great example of this is that if you have like marathon runners and the people who have marathons, and if you look at all the, all of these people who have achieved really great scores and even times in, in running marathon, uh, at the time time mark or time stamp around two hours, just finishing the whole race, is, is that they're so they're, they're very thin. They don't have almost any muscle mass, and they have optimized their bodies for being able to run pretty pretty fast but for for a lot of miles and this is like that specific optimization they have optimized their life their lives and their bodies to the absolute peak just to be able to be the best in the world in this one single thing and there are certain drawbacks that for example might come with this um, like super hyper optimization in terms of okay they're just super focused on on running marathon which means that they might not be the best people in terms of taking care of their families because just, they're just training all the time they might not be the best like knowledge workers because they also don't have time or energy just to uh, invest to other areas of life and and everything is just super focused on actually them performing and 
in terms of just really analyzing the intensity versus time and how strong your focus is, like like this is very important because many people what what they're doing is that they're just like trying to pursue multiple different goals at the same time and just really trying to achieve somewhat of a balance. I mean, you have you have a definitely advertised in the world, um, or I mean, like everyone is speaking about that that you should go and pursue balance. The balance is great for you. Uh, you just strike strike a strike a balance in terms of, for example, how much you work, how much you invest, how much time you're spending with your family, and you just kind of like feel happy. And at least that's what they say. But usually, when you look at these super hyper successful people in all different areas, they're just not not balanced at all, or they they don't have that much balance. And in terms of if you have a look at like all these big entrepreneurs that, that many people consider successful, they're just working crazy hours without a stop. And that's not just when they're launching a company, that also like the, the, the total amount of preparation that just comes into them actually being able to just get to the, to the, the starting line. Let's say like most of them, on average, most of the unicorn founders, not most, like 30. 5%, I guess, um, read a book about that a few months ago, or 35% of all of these big founders go to Ivy League schools in the US, which means that like, like Harvard, Stanford, MIT, etc. which means that, okay, if you want to get into those schools there, which are already themselves very competitive, then that means that you need to score very good at SATs and all your other scores and maybe even GMAT and just all of this, and you need to be super smart. And in order to get super smart, you need to put a lot of work in, and uh, that's, there's just a direct correlation between how much work you put in and how much you get out. And what we're actually maybe just to add, add on on this, uh, where actually most people fall short is, is that they greatly underappreciate how much effort something takes. And in their perception of the world, they just think that they're not not good at something, but in other in other perception or other words they are just not able to comprehend how with their current work ethic they would be able to just endure such a crazy amount of workload in the upcoming time period that would actually help them to improve this was this one is is an example for me like just when i was just just back when i was 13 just, just playing video games not focused absolutely lost in my life at least that was that's what I was feeling back then and I had just like not problems I, I wasn't the best person in grammar uh, mainly in Slovak language which I was uh, like, like taking classes in, in back in Slovakia where I come from and we had just like even writing sessions where they just checked your grammar spelling and, and vocabulary lexicon everything else it just all how you're using the language to write sentences and what kind of mistakes you have there and whether you have any mistakes or no. And I was the person who was always scoring like, I was like scoring like Fs, like I was failing, failing on the exams all the time. And back then I just considered myself like, okay, I just, this is something that I never, I, I, I wasn't able to even perceive how I would be able to improve my skill set in, in those areas. And I wasn't able to see the direct correlation that actually the more hours I put in, that the more I, more I would get out. And I would that that time I considered just studying for one hour to be something like a great freaking accomplishment, like just one hour in itself. Which now, right now, is just like I mean, one hour passes by. Even the preparation and just doing this podcast is um, takes one hour itself, and this is the 18th hour that I'm pushing right now today. What I was up. It's like 18 freaking hours. But that's a different that's a different kind of like mentality that I have right now. So it's how should I say that? It's like just once you understand or once you even kind of get the basic foundational confidence that you need to really appreciate yourself or be able to understand that there is a price you need to pay for everything you want to accomplish in terms of how much time it will require, then the only thing that you need to really optimize for is to actually just be able to devote the time to that, to that pursuit. So, uh, but in, maybe on, on the other hand, it's just like, it, it, it depends whether your goals are complementary 
in one hand, like in other words, if they if you achieve one goal, it will somehow push you forward in in the other goal as well. For example, right now for me, in terms of my goal, really be becoming one of the top experts in marketing and just really being kind of accepted. I mean, like just I, I love I love marketing. I enjoy marketing. I've been accepted to the ten best marketing master's degree in the world, and just like bench writer stuff as well. I just like from a certain standpoint, even though I'm still contemplating whether I would take it or no, because. Uh, I mean, there's, I, I perceive a really big opportunity cost for me for just taking that, even though I have a full scholarship and everything else. It's just like, from a certain standpoint, that that kind of like goal is complementary to my, like just all the business stuff that I'm doing since I'm working in marketing and just gaining more experience from the analytical standpoint, just just diving deeper in, in these realms and maybe from the acad- academical part it's like just okay it's kind of like going in the same direction it's not got like okay i'm i'm going with one goal to the west and with one goal to the east on the other hand you have these kind of like substitutional goals which is exactly that so you're for example you what could be that um it's hard to even come come up with an example like for example you want to um, let's say you want to become a professional sports person and at the same time you want to become uh, a lawyer or something, you know, like just, just pushing two different kind of like diff- very different career paths at the same time. And what usually happens there is that you either just go out on all of them and then just eventually burn out in one of those those fields and, and just get cut one of those stats and just go full out into one thing or then there are people who just pursue both of them and, and just become mediocre at both of, the, both of them it's just like a decision every single person needs to make and in, in terms of just really uh, trying to get the most out of, out of your time it, it's just like always the people who achieve the best stuff in the world are not balanced it's just like they're super freaking obsessed like look at for example um, all of these big tech entrepreneurs they're usually like these ones, if you look at like really the best ones in the world, they're not athletes and like just they don't have the best shape in the world. They're not jacked from my, my point of view. Like they don't have a six pack. They are not looking like The Rock. Maybe like now Jeff Bezos, since he has retired, he, he looks more like like The Rock. But uh, he, he has, I'm not sure if he has a six pack, but he's kind of jacked. But on the other hand, when, when we were just starting their companies for the first 20 years, they were just like grinding, 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 and just without the self. And everything else took a second priority in their life. So it's kind of like optimization and that, that specifically, like if you're, if you have two priorities, let's say you, you want to become a lawyer or you are, you are studying in school to become a lawyer and at the same time you're just like st- going full out into for example some kind of sports like professional skiing let's say uh, then if you want to go all out um l- like this is specifically like y- you you can get disproportionate results and returns on your investment of time only if you go into a single thing if you just p- pick one one thing or one goal that you're going to pursue and then just go all out. Because if you have too many goals that you're pursuing at the same time, you will have, so to say, these switching costs, which means that okay, you're just, when you're doing one thing, you're thinking about how you're going to be doing the other thing. And then when you're doing the other thing, you're going to be thinking again how you're going to be doing the first thing. And that that was actually like the state where I was, where I found myself a few months ago. It just okay. I was just like having so many different kind of projects that, when I just woke up, I, I for for forty five minutes, the, the biggest challenge for me was to actually figure out what the hell I'm gonna gonna be doing and <laughs> working on today because it, there was just so much freaking stuff to do that even even counting back back like just for me to be able to perform at a level um, where I would be super satisfied with my results back then, I would just need to pull in something like one forty or one fifty hours a week, which isn't really possible i'm just now pulling 115 and like this is i can really essentially say that this is the most sustainable thing that i can do be doing for pretty i'm not sure how long but uh, it just like feels pretty sustainable if you just go up up above and just like 150 you just sacrifice sleep you you feel like crap and 
the quality of your work just goes into free fall and you end up anywhere uh you don't end up anywhere so that isn't the best option but just really picking one thing and that's even the reason why you see just so many people go from zero to 100 so freaking fast but usually when they do that they just cut everything else they just cut ties and, and they, they they just just like freaking succeed on, on a huge level and i really think that a big part of this is just like being able to kind of like when you when you're forced to succeed then you have kind of like even more motivation to go all out so in terms of just being intensive it's also about the time that you put in it's maybe that this is the second point that i really wanted to to speak about is like how many hours are you spending every week or every working day working on actually that that stuff because there's a difference working on something for 10 years but only one hour a day or just being super intense working 10 hours a day and and doing something for six months and like this is just such a huge difference it's just like okay if you're working on something one hour every single day then like okay i'm gonna i'm working on my business one hour every single day i'm doing that for 10 years like let's say there would be a person who would say that then for sure you can tell, say that okay he's probably doing all the other all other stuff besides that and he's not really focused he's just doubling with a little stuff and he's just not really focused on one thing that usually you, as i already previously mentioned you get the disproportionate results only when you commit only when you actually make the decision that okay this is the stuff that i'm going to be focusing on and i'm consciously cutting off all the other stuff which is great in itself but i'm just like really going to be pursuing the thing that that's going to get me the biggest disproportionate returns from the long term um maybe a great example from my part is just like also being kind of vulnerable from this side that there are many people in my many 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 people in my direct surroundings where i started with essentially like started at the, at the same place where i was where i've been when i was let's say 17 18 and um like i have a lot of friends like that right now and just as, as time passed like we kind of made made different decisions in our lives for example i made a decision that i was pushing hard both in school and in business i was just like uh, there was a period of my life i was just like super hard pushing business and, and just like putting so many hours there having like 30 30 meetings every single week um calls and it was just like i was even pulling in kind of decent money and at the same time i was just um super focused on school as well just pulling a stars just finishing at the top of my class was like absolutely going earth and getting in, accepted into one of the best business programs in europe and then like just as time passed like for example now i can see that like i'm, I'm still kind of in this in the same vertical just being really focused on business at the same time as i'm really focused on, on my school and just finishing it great, great as well and as time time passed in the fast past few three three years or so like those guys it's just like really um i had like um i got to over five figures in income this year in yearly income uh in yearly in monthly income and in terms of just comparing it to like my friends where they've really been able to get like just i have just so many freaking friends who are just pulling in multiple six figures a month like like not one but the same people who i started with back then which was two or three years ago it's just like those same people that i like i'm still friends with today and where i'm still texting with today um i'm just like i i moved myself like great significant stuff forward but at the same time like just those other people are just so much freaking further ahead in terms of just pulling in reckoning just numbers where like multiple six figures every single month and profit which is like crazy and not one of them it's just like multiple of them and th- this this is like just even even a thing that i'm really realizing that regardless of how hard you want to really try and, and just like be jack of all trades you can really <laughs> like if you want to, like there is a saying it's a classical saying uh if you want like jack of all trades becomes a master of none 
And that's a really good, great thing. And in terms of just trying to analyze this and even my approach to that, like there are certain reasons why, for example, com me compared to them, decided to further pursue the education mode or why, did, why I opted for this option. Now looking back, I, I can like, there's a, I really feel that I've gained a lot from university in itself, like just a lot of connections, really good friendships, not just from with some kind of like nerds, but also like the people I'm traveling with pretty much every single, like even multiple times a year. And just like doing some crazy stuff, like just some cool stuff that I enjoy. Having very similar interests as well. That's one thing in terms of just really um, having a more long-term long focus and just really trying to create value in the future, I guess. Um, and even in the future, if I'll become a father, I'm not sure. I mean, the pre recent weeks, I really started really thinking this, but that's a different topic. If I'll re really become a father, like, okay, at least I'll have just some more skills that I'll, I'll be able to work with. So in terms of even just, just the setup that I have here, I'm like living on a campus. I'm, I'm essentially living on campus in one of the, I would say like the, not one of the, but like, I guess like really the, the, the most beautiful part of Vienna, which in, in itself is the most livable cities in the world. At least it has been multiple times, like multiple years, um, multiple years in the last, last, last years that the ranking has been up. You can look it up. So the most livable cities in terms of my setup, how like I have a home gym, I um, like a really good home gym. The community here is kind of fine. I can just go for walks. There are a lot of nice places. I live in besides a park. Then my, I, just like I can go and just, just walk in a park whenever I want. I can, I have like such a good restaurants here. Just so freaking good restaurants. Um, and even like this, the, the food that I'm able to get here, like I, I don't have to cook and it's so great every single day I just walk into one one shop that I have here and they have these I guess like I've never tasted better more fresh um sandwiches or like other types of hot food that they have there it's like it's so freaking good you just I just go there take take anything I want every single day and I like a five minute break and then I get back back here and just grind some more it's like I just like feel feel really in flow, like no distractions. I wasn't able to achieve anything like this anywhere else. In Hawaii, I was just like cluttered. I just had to go and shop for food, which was far far away. I had to go to gym, which was far away itself. Um, and it's all like just I I just spent like six hours, seven hours a day, just doing or just wasting my time on just like kind of drunk activities, and I wasn't really able to perform at a very high level but here it's like everything is dialed in I'm, I'm the third year here everything is super super dialed in and in terms of like the amount of volume and everything else that i'm able to produce here it's still going up and up so it's like just i kind of feel feel kind of great from a certain standpoint here in, in terms of my decision of staying here in vienna and and yeah, at the same time, I'm just like really to to kind of boil it down, like time versus intensity. It's very hard to to do two things and, and just like be a pro and two things at the same time. Like just it's super freaking hard. And I've made a decision. So I made a decision like even three or four months ago. I always like I had just so many different projects on my on my hands that I could have worked on and just like wrecked wrecked so much money for me. And just, even for me, for team members, and like just really create something great. But at the same time, I just made the conscious decision that I just still kind of want to finish that. And it's like just kind of conscious decision, conscious decision that I made. And I guess like only in retrospect will I be able to actually accurately assess whether this decision was worth it. Or whether it wasn't worth it, but at the same time, I just every single day that I wake up today, I just like have all of these people who I'm mes messaging with every single day, and just like they're, um, I even have one friend who's like not taking six. He, he, I'm not sure what what he's doing, but he's also from like Central Europe, uh, kind of 
I guess he's from Germany and he he's taken in like like over seven figures a month and just like just super crazy since he he's probably the same age as I am and it's like just um the, these people are not people who are just like in, in a lot further than me like just so, someone who I would know just from the internet but they're like people who I know for many years now and who I speak with on a regular basis just just keeping in touch with friends and yeah, it just like definitely kicks you kicks you in the ass, at least me, like, okay, great. I just had the decision to go full out, um, to to actually do that stuff because I wanted to do them do that many times, but I just in the end opted out for finishing this. And like, okay, there there's this kind of this, this opportunity cost that I'm incurring. And yeah, it, it's sometimes just biting me in the ass. <laughs> okay, fuck. Uh yeah, it's just um, probably in the next few years I'll be able to accurately assess whether this was even worth it. But I guess yeah, just just really trying to push hard as as, as hard as it gets, or at least like a, as much of work that I'm able to produce every single day, and just as much progress that even with our team we're able to produce. I'm just like pushing for that as well. So intensity versus time, I would say like. Um, once you just find one thing, and even that's blunt for me, like just once I get 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 out of this this whole system and, and essentially like just be free, then I'm like my plan for me is very very easy. It's just like simply at least give yourself seven years because usually you you need seven years to create a movement that or or something that will be really worth it. For example, for Mr. Beast, if you look at his success, it took him it took him approximately seven years. Um, if we look at it at retrospect or maybe eight years from 2015 until 2023 to just create something really big. Um, also all the other people are just like, there are seven to eight years time frames, the seven to eight year time frames that you operate in, which, which can then help you or in which you're able to just get most out of the opportunities. So I just know that, okay, like there will be this time of my life there. Um, I'll be probably very focused and just like really working on the stuff that's very important for me. And they're like, they're these kind of, um, how do you even say that? <laughs> it kind of like the returns that you get, the, the return on, on your investment, and the more focused you are, the, the higher your return on investment. It's not that like, just if you're doing one thing right, you're going to get much more disproportionate returns than if you're just spread out super thin and just working on multiple different projects at the same time, but just not being super dialed on any one of those. So yeah, those are just kind of like my two cents on this whole topic. And yeah, just, just was kind of really interesting to observe that. So if you have any questions or if you have anything specific you'd like me to to answer, just feel free to shoot me a message on my Instagram, jacob Barting. And with that being said, I guess... Um, yeah, a lot of things have been answered here. Uh, today, I even posted a lot of stuff on, on Google Threads. Uh, Google Threads. Uh, Instagram Threads, just downloaded the app. Um, also, also Twitter, didn't really have time to post in the in the last two or three months. Um, it's kind of like just really juggling a lot of stuff at the moment. So, you know, that, but at, at the same time, I just definitely want to get back to this because it's just something that's that I'm really super passionate about. Great. So with that being said, it was great speak, uh, speaking to you today and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye.